camera confidence tricks. Number one, lights. Oh, thank you. Look into the camera. All a bit close and personal. Let's get some action around here. Get yourself animated on camera. Practice on your iPhone. I'll give you another tip tomorrow. There are three things that I think you should really think about. Number one, everybody is really up close and personal. We're looking into people's homes. We're checking out what people's faces do. It's all very distant and isolating. So on camera, there are a few things that you need to think about. Eye movement, first of all. Where are your eyes going? Up, down, to the side, round, all over the place. Very distracting. So here's what you should do. Get on camera, have a go, see what happens. Have a look at where your eyes are. Are you able to focus a bit and look mainly into the lens of your camera? Because if you can, that's always gonna feel better for the people on the other side. Number two, where you stand or where you sit. Thank you, my lovely friend Claire, who's just pointed this out to me. Standing middle of frame, like this, or sitting middle of frame, it's okay. Bit boring. Whereas, if you take yourself to the side slightly, you give yourself what we call talking distance. You can talk into this nice space here. Also, it's slightly less intrusive, and it's a bit more interesting. You can see all my pictures in the background. And then the third thing to think about is, and this takes practice, double your volume and half your speed when you speak. Not only does this add gravitas, it allows you to breathe, gives you time to think about what you're about to say. It also gives the people that are listening to you time to clock what you've just said and look forward to the next thing you've got to say. Three things I hope that are useful. I'll be posting a few more tips and tricks as we go into this weird period that we're all living in. But we're all on camera. We need to get better at it. If you want a longer training session or want to talk to me directly about your pitching or meetings or anything coming up, check the website below. I'll see you soon. We're all in our homes on camera. We're not in the studio with posh microphones or BBC setups. So make sure that you keep your background noise down to a minimum. If you can link... Hello? Hello, I'm on camera. Sorry. Keep your background noise down to a minimum. If you can, find a room that has soft furnishings in, maybe a nice carpet or some curtains or something. Funny. Sorry. There's one word you can use that completely sets the tone of what your webinar, your conference, your Zoom is going to be. And that one word, two syllables, hello. If you think about it, the way you say hello completely sets the tone. Hello. 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 <laughs> it seems mad, doesn't it? I've just done this with a course of people. And everybody says it's the one word that completely tells you what's coming up. Courtesy of the lovely Martine Croxall from BBC News. We were talking about the classic mistakes that people make when they're broadcasting from home, on video conferencing, Zooming, etc. And one of the big things is where people place their webcam or their camera. So this is about right. This is just above eye level, so you get a decent look of the face, but you don't get this effect what happens when people put their camera too low. I'll just show you. So if your camera is low on the screen and you're looking into it, what do you see? Jowls, up the nose, condescending look down. So be careful of that one. Have a look at yourself and think, do I look better from above, nicer lighting, or do I look great from below, jowls, nostrils? Best of luck. More soon. Now we wouldn't do exercise or dance or run a marathon without warming up. So why don't we warm up before we go on camera? I always think it's useful for your voice, for your face, for everything to look relaxed and also for you to get used to using your face when you're on camera for the first time. There's a very, very quick warm up that's very good for using all your face muscles. It's these letters Q, E, Q, R. If you say those with a real exaggeration that really helps use your face muscles. I'll show you. Q, E, Q, R. 
weird, but it really works. Q E Q R. Try that and also look up to the ceiling, down to the floor, left, right, up, down, left, right, smile and relax. Here's a very strange question. Do you have a good listening face? Because if you don't, you need to get one. I've been doing lots of conferencing recently, as you can imagine, and I'm often watching people as they're listening to things I'm saying, things other people are saying. And there's a lot of this going on. All legitimate listening features, these are people looking at different parts of their brain to make sure that they can make sense of what's being said. However, they do give off signals that make a speaker feel a little bit insecure sometimes. So your listening face, the best advice I can give you is soft smile, look into the camera and nod.